With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Water flows in a horizontal tube. You can see in the figure, the pressure of the water changes by 700 Newton per meter square between A and B, where the cross sections are 40 centimeter square and 20 centimeter square respectively. Find the rate of flow of water through the tube. So let's uh, say this is the cross section 1 and through this cross section the velocity of the fluid passing is V1 and the area of cross section is A1 and here the cross section is V2 and area of cross section is E2. So since the volume flow rate through each cross section will be same since the fluid is ideal right incompressible. So, I will take A1 V1 is equals to A2 V2. Right. So, you can put the value of A1 and A2. A1 is 40 centimeter and A2 is 20. So, I will write. So, from here you will get V2 is equals to 2 V1. Right. Now, it is given that the pressure changes by 700 between A and B. So, if I write the Bernoulli's theorem, so from the Bernoulli's equation, I can write here the pressure at 1 plus since the height is same, so we can write it like this, where P1 and P2 are pressure at point 1 and point 2. Very simple. Now you can see the relation between V1 and V2. So you can just put the value of V2 as 2V1. So I will write P1 plus rho by 2 V1 square is equals to P2 plus rho by 2 into 4V1 square it will be. Right. So you can see the P1 minus P2 is equals to rho by 2. 4v1 square minus v1 square so it will be 3 by 2 rho v1 square right so p1 minus p2 is already given in the question that is 700 right so just put this 700 is equals to 3 by 2 rho is water of uh, like a thousand and v1 square is to be calculated now you can calculate the v1. So I will write v1 square is equals to. So this will get cancelled out and you will get 40 by 30. That is equals to 7 by 50. So v1 will be equals to under root of this. Now we can calculate the volume flow rate. By applying A1 V1. So we will write the volume flow rate is. So the V1 is this much into 100 centimeter per second. Right. So volume flow rate dV by dt is equals to A1 V1. So A1 we already given in the question is 40. And V1 we calculated is this. In centimeter per second. So after calculation we will get centimeter cube per second as the answer. Now you can check which option is the correct. So 2720 centimeter cube per second A is the correct option. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.